And knowing what is happening in the realm of the spirit will determine what happens in the natural, what will manifest before you, what you can expect. I mean, there's a lot of things that we can see in the spirit to be able to help us and keep us from stepping into the trap of the enemy. It can also help us to prosper. It can help us to be able to make those decisions when that time comes, even though we don't even know there's a decision to be made. Many times you'll have a vision, whether it's by day and you're wide awake or whether it's night, that you need to take it serious and begin to seek someone who can make that interpretation. This is what's happening when they sought Joseph. And of course, Joseph was set free out of the dungeon when the butler spoke of the dream that Pharaoh had and there was an interpretation. But this is what happened with Pharaoh. Pharaoh says, no, I'm not going to tell you the dream. You tell me what the dream was and then you interpret it. Boy, that's a double portion. That's a lot harder to do is to tell somebody what they dreamed and then interpret it. Now that's doing a, a job well. Let's look at the next set of scriptures in Ezekiel 11, 24 and 25. Then the Spirit took me up and brought me in a vision by the Spirit of God into Chaldea and those in captivity, to those in captivity. And the vision that I had seen went up from me. So I spoke to those in captivity all the things the Lord had shown me. Now you can be transcended in a vision, meaning that you can feel as if you were literally taken into another place. I know that you've probably had a dream at some point in time in your life where you awoke, your heart was thumping 90 miles an hour, you were drenched in sweat, and you were experiencing the emotions as if you had really been there. Well, that's what it's like to be in a vision either by day or night. You have this experience to the point to where you're not even in yourself, and we'll see later about how this is even scriptural. It can seem so, so real you believe you're there. A night vision can seem so real that you awaken and feel as though you're experiencing it from all the natural effects that are happening, but also you can even begin to prophesy in your sleep. I don't know if you've ever had a dream where you were saying things in that dream and those things that you were speaking were prophetic. And it was as if God said, speak these things. Now we know from previous teachings in this same school of prophetic knowledge is that when you begin to speak, thus saith the Lord on the face of the earth, you're speaking those things on earth as they are spoken in heaven and when that occurs, we know from Psalms 103 and 22 that the angels go do his word. So what happens is when you prophesy and it is truly a word from God, his angels go begin to create all those things to happen so that word will come to pass.